look at me, sir. Surely you can see I'm not like those others. Um, lots of crazy folks who come in here and look just fine when they first get here. I'll give it about a month, and I bet I won't be able to tell you from the rest of them. Just wait and see if I can. Look at me. Do I appear to be without my reason? Have you never read The Wives' Tale and never judge a book by its cover? But I tell you what I say. That's what most of us think, too. <coughs> Look, surely there's been some mistake. Surely someone, someone must make out some sort of legal document declaring me insane. Isn't that true? Rod is right. Well, then there's some mistake because no one has examined me. I, my husband said I was going to see the doctor. Yeah, that's what we tell most of them. Just go into the hospital to see the doctor, who works nearly every time, too. Sometimes tell them to go to the dentist just for variety's sake. No, oh, and I got the legal and binding document from Mr. Shepard himself, one of the managers of the whole hospital, saying straight out that he, his wife, Mary Gerard, is lunatic, and is, and is requesting that he be held here for treatment for the rest of your natural life. Uh, unless, of course, you be cured. For God's sake, don't jest with me, sir. I don't know, it's no jest. You can be sure that the locks here are the realest and finest locks you'll ever see. Also your companions, too. That's a genuine thing. I will not loony take some last one. I'll get the good Dr. Rush's tranquilizer chair for you. I think you're sort of subject to, uh, excitations. You'll feel better then. See if you don't. <laughs> 